What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Now over time we've always seen technology that ends up phasing out and becoming extinct and something else ends up replacing it. So for this video today I'm going to be talking about current things that are in today's market for technology and other things like that, that are in my opinion going to phase out over the next couple years. Let's get right into this. So up first on my list is physical CDs. Of course, musicians and artists are always going to put out new albums uh, whenever they get the time to make them. And music is a huge part of culture these days with the new music that comes out every year. The only thing is, a lot of times you can't find the physical CDs unless you buy it specifically from the artist's website. It's really hard to go and find new CDs, let alone CDs that are over a year old. I used to be able to go to Walmart and go through their CD section and there would be CDs from even five years ago, 10 years ago, just ones that have been reprinted, if that makes sense. And I, as you guys know, I have a CD collection, so I always like collecting the physical copies of my CDs, but it makes it really hard nowadays because Walmart only carries new CDs that have recently been released. They don't have a huge selection like they once have. They're always shrinking it more and more till the time that they're only going to have new releases. Um, I know online you can buy them off eBay, you can buy them from other sites, but that price racks up. That's more expensive than what they used to be. So for me, it's easier now to buy digital copies for music. And I know there's a bunch of streaming sites for music, Spotify and different things like that, that people would rather do. And there's not really a need for physical copies for things like CDs anymore because people can just go download it. It gets downloaded within seconds on any device that you have. You can listen to it on the go. You can listen to it with Bluetooth. You don't need to have a CD and put it in stuff. I know things like your vehicles, new vehicles now do not have a CD slot in them. Laptops usually don't. So there's not really a need for CDs anymore. So I see them going out in the next few years. Next up is physical video games. Now this is along the same thing as CDs, but video games, I can see them going extinct in the next few years with physical copies because back whenever I started gaming, whenever I first got my PlayStation 4, the digital market for video games was really starting to take off. Whenever I first got my PlayStation 4, the only time that there'd be sales on the digital store on my PlayStation would be for things like Black Friday or Christmas or a specific sale once in a while here or there. Now there's always a sale on the go. They have the end of the year sale, the spring sale, fall sale, winter sale. So many sales right now where you can get any game you want pretty much on sale. Just depends on when the platform decides to put it on sale, but it makes it way easier to buy digital games. Another reason that I think it's going to go out is I remember when the Xbox One was about to be released. It was rumored to have no CD slot. It was all going to be digital and the backlash from the Xbox community, the gaming community, Xbox decided to put a gaming slot in them. And I know with the new video games that are coming out, the PlayStation 5 and the new Xbox that will be coming out, there still will be a CD slot for it. There will be physical games. However, I could see with the next consoles that come out after these ones in another five to eight years, which is usually the lifespan for consoles these days. Usually it's around seven, I would say. I could see with the next one, the PlayStation 6, I could see there will be no physical CD drive in it. And when you think about it for the console, that will save room. Instead of having the CD slots for the console, they can have extended storage. There'd be a lot more space or they'd be able to add a lot more processors and stuff like that within the console unit. So it makes sense. The market's going more digital. It just seems like nobody wants to go to the store and purchase a physical copy. The one benefit for me for physical copies of the video games would be you'd buy a video game. I'd always buy them on sale, never full price, but you'd buy a video game. Once you're finished with the video game, you can either add it to your physical collection for gaming, which is something I love doing, or you could turn around and sell it and make back a little bit of the money. You're not going to be able to sell it for full price that you paid for it, but you'll be able to make back something for it. And that'd be always fun to do. Or you can trade with a friend and trade games. You can't really do that with digital games, but regardless, for me, it's over 30 minutes to drive to the store to be able to buy a video game whenever it comes out or whenever I want to purchase one. It's easier for me to get it digitally from the PlayStation Store nowadays. So I can see it's definitely going to be going out over the next few years. Definitely like 
hopefully by the next console. That's what I'm predicting. Next is going to be comic books. Now, I know comic books, in my opinion, have been kind of going out for a while, but they still make comic books, which is something that surprises me with today's technology. There is platforms online where you can go and sign up for a subscription and you can read any comic book um, from the early 60s, I believe, up until the current ones. They're always adding comic books onto there and you can read them digitally instead of having to purchase them. I personally have over 500 comic books in my collection, so I would hate to see comic books go out. But the comic books that I'm into and I like purchasing and finding and reading are more of the comic books from the 80s. That's my preference. I'm not really into new comic books, so since I feel like I'm that way, I feel like there might be new people or other people that are collectors in that that just aren't into the new comic books. They don't have the same feel. They have apparently great stories from a coworker. I have a coworker of mine that works at a comic book shop. He absolutely loves them, but I can see the way with new technology, how it's just going to fizzle out over the next maybe 10 years till where everything's going to be digital, which is going to suck because I like physical copies, but that's just the way I think that's going to go. Next up is going to be newspapers. For me, this is going to be a big one for my list because I could see newspapers going out within the next five years, maybe 10 years. I know throughout history, everybody's always loved to get newspapers, but now you don't need to see about articles and see about the news that happens the day after it happens because they anything that happens one day, they put it in the newspaper the next day. Now online, you can see all your news, your breaking news, your news feeds. You can follow news sources on Facebook and other ones as long as it's not fake news which is a huge problem nowadays but a lot more people are going with online news rather than physical news a lot of people aren't even watching the news on TV anymore because a lot of people don't have TV they have Netflix they have their phone different things like that so they watch stories on their phone or on different sites they don't need to go and have a newspaper anymore I don't even remember the last time I picked up a newspaper because I just don't bother with it because I get all my news on my phone. Next is going to be corded headphones, which is going to suck for me because I've always loved the corded headphones plugging into my phone or my laptop or whatever I, device I need. Uh, it makes it easier for me. But of course, with the Bluetooth headphones, the AirPods and other things, other technology that is coming out, I can see within the next five to 10 years again, that corded headphones are going to be no more or it's going to be really hard to find one especially for me a good pair of headphones that is corded it's going to be really tough what i use now is audio sorry wicked audios havoc edition i love them i've, I've been using them for years but i could really see with how technology is going where it's more bluetooth and wire free cord free that there's not going to be any corded headphones in the future next up is going to be the home phone which is something that personally here at my home we're going to be getting rid of our home phone soon because, of course, I have a cell phone. My parents are going to be getting cell phones very soon. There's no need for a home line anymore. Of course, with a cell phone, that means we're not going to have no stupid telemarketers calling, at us, uh, calling us anymore, which is awesome. And I prefer my cell phone anyways. You can do more things with it. You can search the web, just not just use for calling. So not too many people in my area that I know of have uh, home phones anymore. Most people have a cell phone. And it's just so much more convenient, so much easier, and so much more you can do with it rather than a home phone. There's just not really a need for home phones anymore. And the last thing that I want to mention for this list, which I could have mentioned with CDs and physical video games, is going to be DVDs. With how Netflix is taking over the market and all the other streaming sites, and with all the other websites that you can go and find uh, movies online and watch them and stream them on your device, or you can go and purchase them online with PlayStation Store or other websites as well. You can purchase and rent and watch the movies that way. You don't need to go and purchase DVDs in the store. I've actually been having a really tough time finding physical DVDs in stores lately. Other than new releases, you can't find too much of the older stuff within the last two, three years. It's really tough to find those. But new releases, they still come out. And a lot of people might say this is going to hurt the media market. Absolutely not. Now, most of the time, it's the streaming sites. They still get a lot of money from that. They get a lot of money from merch, like Marvel is insane with their merch and everything. Uh, of course, we have the streaming sites. Of course, they have the box office, whenever the movie is in theaters, that they get a lot of money from. So it's just more convenient for people to watch movies online or at home or in the theater 
rather than waiting for it to come to DVD and purchasing it, a physical copy, having to go to the store. And that's the biggest thing for everything on this video is any of the products that you have to go and purchase a physical copy for. It's easier to just download it at home, a digital version, watch it, listen to it, play with it if it's a video game and do things that way rather than having to leave your home and go and purchase it in store or have to go to a store, especially if you're like me where the closest big stores like Walmart or EB Games are about 30 to 40 minutes away, it's easier just to do everything digital now. And plus with big sites like Amazon where they're deliver, they will deliver right to your home anything you order, it's easier just to order from them, order online, get it sent to you or order online digitally and have access within seconds after it downloads. So I could see a lot more things, more than just what I mentioned in this video, phasing out over the next few years, but this is the short list of what I really believe will phase out over the next few years, within five to 10 years for most of these items, I would say. Comment down below anything else that I might have missed or overseen that you feel within the next few years will be phased out as well and will be replaced with new technology and it's gonna be considered old stuff, it's not gonna be used anymore. Of course, we've seen it done in the past with everything from floppy disks to VHS tapes. So it's going to be interesting to see what will get phased out in the future and also what will replace it. I feel like the market nowadays for what is going to be replacing more technology is going to be digital formats or online formats of items instead of having to buy the physical units. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave it here. Please take care. Peace.